And you don't want to roll from the bottom to the top. You want to roll from the middle out. So we'll start in the middle, short little strokes. Down, short strokes. Quarter turn and over. Yep. You can see all the fat in this dough. It looks like a piece of that Florentine paper. So up, down, out. It looks like a fish now. And you know, the thing to remember about pie dough is when you create South America or Australia, <laughs> or whatever continent you might be making, you don't really need to worry about it. You can just cut it off and stick it on. It's sort of like a cousin of ceramics. <laughs> if anybody who's ever done any slab building, it's like very similar. But you can see it's not sticking at all. It's really nice. You put the flour on the, on the rolling pin as well. Yeah, I, I, I had a suspicion because this is so Sock that I wasn't going to need it, but actually, you can take your sock, dip it into the flour, and then shake it out. But I thought that you know, I didn't want to do that to get any more. And then, if you see if you have a piece of butter like this, a large piece that might break through or it's at risk of breaking through, then just take a little bit of flour, sprinkle it on, pat it in, and brush it off. So I'm sure Sherry's will look much more like this, maybe it won't. But, but this is really what you want to see. You want to see all this irregularity. And one of the great things actually about losing, using a low moisture butter is they tend to be more yellow. So you can really see the color. The duck fat has just gone into the butter and you can't see the color. So that is your dough. Low moisture butter would be better that usually has 85% butter fat. Often you will have to compensate for the amount of water in your dough by up to an ounce because regular butter, like lamb or any sort of regular supermarket butter, it, um, it definitely part of that um, moisture is water, and that's part of what goes into your recipe. So you, you know, often, if you 